Ah, there we're we there. We had 25 people watching, watching black Blackness. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah. Did you do the... So this is... Wasted my time. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually... Really good. <laughs> table you'll see Aaron McManus and Liz Cole they haven't started yet though no. but Lena and April started I didn't see who broke first uh, no Viv's on one of the outer tables we're hoping maybe we can we can get her on here later today yeah, no she'll be on later today we already talked to Chris the tournament director perfect and I think she'll sit in and do some commentary later, too. Uh, looks like April was trying to play safe. Didn't, didn't quite get safe. Pretty sure she left the edge of that three. Or possibly all of it. Tough to get safe back there, though. Yeah. Even with the edge, you're running into that six ball. Yeah, there's the cue ball can't really go anywhere safe. Unless you can bank that three back down below the nine. I don't know. What's your yeah, she'd have to find a way to get the three safe rather than the cue ball. That's assuming she can see it. She might yeah. be reaching for a jump cue here. Yeah, she went and got the shorty. Can we flash the bracket up once? We could probably post it on the page, on the Q Sports Live Facebook page. But it's on the Hidden Spot Facebook page if you guys want to go there and look. The link is there. And I believe Steph posted some pictures on there too. So go to the Hidden Spot Facebook page. See the draw on there. She two banked it. I think she was trying to one bank it. That's a pretty good shot either way. There, Greg's got the link up there. See uh, April's dad, Dave's watching. Happy birthday, Dave. It's Dave's birthday today. Oh, yeah. Happy yeah. birthday. And thanks, Greg. Greg posted the link to the bracket. Appreciate it. pressure on April later I'll tell her the best birthday present for your dad's for you to win yeah no, no pressure yeah. well she could she could make it as far as I would think the a side semi-final if she wins her next two matches today yeah. this will be a tough one here yeah she's got her work cut out for her here Lena Lena played a really good match yesterday against Bonnie where there were probably five or six mistakes between them the whole match. Look at that leg. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good leg, yeah. Aaron almost froze it. A little two rail shape for the nine. Put up the first bead. Thanks for tuning in, Steve. Appreciate it. Dave, how's it going? It's 
so she could get to the A semifinal for his birthday present. Yeah. And then for Father's Day present, she wins the tournament. That would be the goal. Start the thing, power it on, power it off. Oh, you know why? Am I still connected to? Is that still on Val's hotspot? I don't know. It's on Shaw open. Okay. I got no problem with their Wi Fi here. Maybe log into that one. Because I'm missing the match. Oh, the guest one doesn't need a password. I'm missing all the action trying yeah. to get this tablet to work. That way we can see what everybody's saying. Oh, it is slightly laggy on the, on the Wi-Fi, but... I know, I'm missing everything. That's what I just said, too trying to get this tablet working. Missing all the fun. That was a great safety. April's coming with it. I'll look for the two rail hit here. Yeah, she'll hit the second rail and try to get the cue ball behind the five. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, she almost caught it perfect. What an effort. I'm doing good today, Barry. How are you? And Patrick Francis from Belgium again. Thanks, Patrick. Appreciate all you guys tuning in. Aaron might have got safe there. With Liz, too, or left, might have the edge of it. Yeah, these girls are grinding early. Yep. See if April tries to cut this one in or play safe. She went for it. Steph, thanks for tuning in. I think it's going to be a good day. It should be yeah, lots of good no, pool today. There's going to be some awesome pool today. Ooh, a little straight on this, I think. Yeah, this is going to be ball, tricky to yeah. get on that four next. Does it even pass the seven? I don't know. She's gonna have to, all she can do is maybe draw straight back and try that. Yeah, that's well, she might have a save, too, if she gets straight. Yeah. She'll have options if she gets close to where she needs to be there. Oh, I miscued, sound like. She miscued a bit. She can still play safe here. Maybe Full just offense, bank it. Yeah, bank it in the side. That's how I would play it. The right shot is probably bank it past the seven. Leave the cue ball in behind the five. Yeah, yeah. you're going to hook her on the seven. Five's going to slow down the cue ball. Something like that. That's smart too, because yeah. tying up the five, you kind of ensure that even if your opponent kicks and gets safe or kicks and makes it, they can't run out. I don't know that combo looks like it might be. I think it's just a little off angle. It might go though. There's a little bit of space in between there. Yeah. Well, and that's that new cloth again is going to slide on that rail, make it a little more accepting. Absolutely. Yes, Ray, these are both A-side matches. Didn't hit it hard enough. She hit it pretty good, though. That's, yeah, that wasn't, just that trying wasn't to get too it behind bad. that eight, I think. Yeah, kind of just back to where it was. But it was a tricky little shot. Thanks, Julie. 
Good afternoon, Glenn from Michigan. Romulus. Let's see if uh, Aaron's making this jump. Oh, she didn't hit the ball. Practice a little more on her table at home. I watch her quite often. I think she, goes, she, I think she, she goes, plays she goes, quite a bit. Yeah. She goes live quite often playing playing at home on her nine foot diamond. She plays a ton. Yeah. Do we have both of their player profiles done too? Um got a good start on it. Yes. Perfect. We yeah, we can throw that up. Show you guys who's playing the other match too. Aaron and Liz, these are these are both A-side matches. I think they're they're down to 16 on the A-side right now. Liz under hit that. Oh, nice bank by April there. Sweet little bank she played. She's gonna have to come with a shot here, cutting the six in. Unless she wants to bank that too. Yeah, I'd I'd favor banking that the sticks. Yeah, I don't mind it because the seven and the nine is gonna block. A lot yeah. if you miss the pocket. Yeah. Play for the long bank in this bottom right. Oh, Liz. oh, Liz missed the nine. I thought she got a little funny on that ball. But still just the first rack, so nothing to fret about. Looks like she's playing the bank. She overhit it. She's not going to get safe. There's Aaron with her first game over there. Yeah, Aaron. Aaron moves first speed. And on her break, that's where you want to be winning your games. Absolutely. Yeah, you don't want to be losing you games win on, on your, your break. Overcut. Oh, Lena overcut it and yeah. gives. April, anytime, a free shot. Anytime you can win on your opponent's breaks a bonus. Absolutely, yeah. Well, you can start stringing three, four rocks together if you're winning on your opponent's breaks. Thanks, Greg. Be looking for a three rail shape here. Ooh, the rattle. It's not bad, she'll leave a bank. She's left the bank, yeah. So I think, we saw April try the shot two shots ago, but she had to play it at more pocket weight. Because if the six stays down there by the pocket she's playing it for, then she can hook her on the seven too if she doesn't make it. Looks like she's playing a little she might, left on Yeah, this. she might draw into the eight too, try to make them both, I like that. I like that a lot better, actually. Insurance. As long as this good doesn't you. go too far, she'll be good there. Kiyoko has arrived. Yeah, what a what a journey for her. Yeah, that was a long one. Just to play on the B side. She's gonna grind the B side, I guarantee it. She's got her work cut out for her in her first match though. Playing Lisa McNabb. And I believe if she wins her first match, we're gonna try to get her on the stream for her second B side match. See if Lena can cut this nine in, take a two nothing lead. She did. Ooh. Chris? Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> oh, what's Liz working on here? Can she see the two eight combo? Team Larson, yeah, she's gonna need to fade a break a couple times here, so. 
better now than later when she gets down even more. Yeah, if we can get everybody to click that share button for us too, that'd be awesome. Get, uh, get some ladies pool out there for everybody to watch. What could be better on a Saturday afternoon than watching pool? Watching some beautiful ladies playing pool. Yeah. Good morning, David. Aaron with the safe. Looks like she got wow. contained. Contain, containing, yeah. yeah. Uh, that is the word. A little snooker terminology. Looks like Lena snuck that two ball into the wing ball. <laughs> there is a rule in this tournament, two's got to be at the back. <coughs> but I don't think it makes too much of a difference, as long as you're not putting it at the front, directly behind the one ball. That can make yeah. a difference if you're hitting it a little softer. But she was breaking yesterday against Bonnie. She them. was absolutely crushing it. She's hitting it way harder than I would. With the cut break. Two. Wow. Well, that's the that two ball in the corner. You know. How good is this one ball? Yeah. <laughs> nice. She hit it good. I don't know if that three passes a nine down there, but the left corner, but she'll play it. Drop straight back out center table. Hey, Wayne, Jamie's playing right now, but she's on one of our outer tables. If these two matches happen to finish before she's done, then we'll we'll move the camera over there. She's playing Val right now. I'll try to keep you updated on score as it goes, Wayne. What happens if she score first the nine? Well, on Good the break, game? it's game. Yeah, if it goes on the break, it's game. Or if you hit the, the first ball in rotation Com and make the nine, then Combo it in or that's also it a win. Yeah. The nine is wild. No, we're, we're pretty good with all those. Looks like she got a little bit of a wide angle on that four. Could run into the five, maybe. Or that eight. Eddie says we're only 19 away from 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. Sounds like someone's getting a free queue soon, guys. 19 more subscribers. Yeah, we broadcast to YouTube at the same time. If you haven't subscribed to us there, Q Sports Live on YouTube. If you guys are uh, watching on a TV or a bigger monitor at, at home, the YouTube's got a full HD broadcast on it. It's a little better picture on, on a bigger screen. What's Liz shooting with? She plays with a broomstick and eraser, she said on her player profile. <laughs> nice. So that's 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 all she gave us. Can't say I've ever heard of that that cue maker. No. <laughs> could be a could be a good cue maker name though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Broomstick cues. Might have. I might have to start a line of cues, broomstick cues. Yeah. Get your knife out and whittle down a broomstick and lay it out, man. That and uh, Adam Wood. I told him he needs to start making a line of wood cues too, right? Wood cues with wood shafts. like April just has to play a little draw, kind of get the cue ball back close to where it is now. And get her first game on the board. She said if she wins, she's, she's going to dedicate it to Hui, so I decided I'm pulling for her again. I hope she wins. Yeah, a lot of people, I think, Eddie does it as well. You pull it up on your TV at home on YouTube and follow along on your phone with the Facebook comments. 
Slow down. She's good there. She's perfect. What yep. a shot. Funny. Prevail. Yeah. Happy birthday, Jerry. Jerry Pepin's birthday today, guys. Casey says we should have a broomstick tournament. That would be pretty good. That would be fun. Yep. That's maybe something we could do. We could probably work on that. <laughs> Here's one of our sponsors while we got a break there. Blaine Reaper, if you're looking for to buy or sell a house in the Edmonton area, give Elaine a call there. Hey, Lee, thanks for sharing. And right, David, come on, April. Let's see what her break looks like. She, she's got the break figured out yes. pretty good. Broomstick Charity Tournament. Yeah, Broomstick Charity Tourney every year. I've already eaten. That's a good idea, Larry. Handcuff Tourney. He's married, so I think he's good. Not really something I'm worried about. No. Let's see what happened on April's break. She must have came up dry. Looks like she did, yeah. Liz is going to try to bank this eight in. Ah, she hit it sweet. Few balls got to slow down, though. That's probably the worst place you could be shooting that nine, but I think she'll cut this in. She pots pretty good. over there yep. see if Lena can make this long three no nope. that was a tricky but shot she's got ah, lucky. she's getting second prize yeah yep. hey Tony from Halifax how's it going and right David go grinder defending champion April Larson Nice hit by April there. She gets, gets fairly safe on that three. That is pretty safe. Containing again, yeah. It's a good shot. like the, the guy in Vegas and the ref asks him so how are you playing this week he says you know what I'm just happy to be here and I'm gonna play my best <laughs> I thought you're just a genius sir yeah, yeah. <laughs> if everyone had that attitude yep. so we got uh, two birthday boys on the stream we got Jerry and uh, Dave yeah Dave Larson and Jerry Pepin happy birthday Jerry and Dave Grant says happy birthday. I'm sure you heard that. I'm, I'm he, sure he, he did. He yeah. almost trying to kiss me to say that. So. <laughs> well, she's, yeah. She swung at the combo and missed it. She's left it pretty straight in. So I think that four to the five will be the key shot here. Great shot by Liz there. Yeah, it was. Just come back and forth now on the two for the three. Oh, she 
left it hanging in the corner. Oh, there's a free chance yep. for April. She got good on the five. Though. She got perfect on the five, yeah. But just forgot to make the ball. This is a little bit tricky for April here, though. Trying to get back where she is is nearly oh, impossible. I like playing rail first with bottom right. Try to miss the nine? Yeah, go around behind the nine. That's tough. She's playing tough. It's a tall task to try to miss that nine. That's what she did. She did it playing tough. I just like that bottom brings it back up past that side. Yeah, it, it might have dragged it a little more. She's okay where she is because she can play safe behind the eight. Or if she's feeling real good, she can cut it in. She's looking at the cut. Looks like Liz is working through this rack pretty good. Yep. She's made a couple of real good shots. I know April's dad was saying that she's shooting everything way too hard, but this is brand new cloth too, so it is sliding. Rails aren't banking quite as true as they would there with that little bit of slide off of there. It's yeah, it's a little bit tricky. We'll see if Lena can cut this in. This is a tough shot too. Just like she hit rail first. And she's left it on. See if Liz can bear down and make this nine to go up 2 1. Yeah, very nice out by Liz there. <clears throat> All right, let's watch the grinder. Great shot, straight in the corner, very nice. I think a little st stun follow or just a stop shot here is fine. Take what you can get on the seven, don't try to do too much. She liked rolling it. She's uh, decently, decently straight, maybe a little angle. She might have to roll this in and play the eight in the bottom right as we're looking at it. She is a very natural player, very good hand-eye coordination. Uh, she didn't want to be on the rail, but she's okay. She can just float this in, go up and down. I think we'll see her hit this with just a touch of inside juice. And she'll be shooting that nine ball in the top left as we're looking at it. Yeah, just that touch of inside. Wow, did she hit that good. She hit it as good as she ever could. Now it's tricky with the cue ball on the rail like that. She's got to Gotta bear down and make this nine and tie tie up the match here. Yeah, strong finish. So Lena's break. And in the meantime, we'll see if Liz can run another rack. She's shooting the two. Oh, sorry, she was playing a push. The one is still on the table. So I think Aaron's going to hit the right side of the one as we're looking at it. Send that cue ball one or two rails in behind the 5-3. Use the 5-3 to cover the one, bank that one back up table. She tried to just use the three. Well, she didn't leave a shot on, that's containing anyway. Yes, David, Kyoko, I believe, just started her match. And I think there's quite a few people 
sitting in close to watch that one. Everyone's interested to see if she can grind the entire B-side after not making it in time for her A-side match. It would make for a legendary story anyway. Well, Ryan just had to run to the washroom, so Grant's sitting in for a minute here. Well, he's in between making player profiles. Yeah. This is his new full-time job. Yeah. I think I spent uh, maybe a half hour on the mic yesterday. Yeah. It was good. And that was it. It was good. That was it no was good. good. <laughs> <laughs> that was no good. That was no good. That was no good. So I'm back at it again this morning, doing up more uh, more profiles. So, but you're correct. She just flew in um, all the way from Japan, and uh, probably a little bit jet lagged. So I would have to imagine that's a long yeah, flight. It is a long flight just to come and grind out the B side. So here, check that's out a risk. check out this replay. Uh, Aaron just played the Z shot to hit that one ball and and got safe too. Wow. And got safe back. So gross. Yeah, that was a good shot. That was really good. The Z shot hit. It's like April's jumping. She's got the short cue gonna jump yeah. this in the side or maybe the corner. The up, the over. It's a good hit. She got over. Oh. How unlucky is that? And she, and she got she got not bad though. That's not the one sitting no. tough. I think you'll see Lena just hit this one full, send it three rails, leave the cue ball where it is. Oh, she's going to thin it. Thin it, yeah, which really doesn't do anything. It's if not you're progressing the table. It's not. It's right? leaving the one where it is. But if you get ball in hand, you can play that shot again. You can three foul. But even just a hooker here, I think the two is kind of in the way. No, she was okay. But this is an but easy But, I mean, hit. it's such an easy hit back, and there's no progression on the table there. Yeah, yeah you're not. You're not changing the one ball. Making it worse, even. Yeah. We'll right, all uh, all uh, April's going to do is come up behind it, nudge it. Yeah, this will be and soft. Leave it. it. Yeah, she's just going to leave it there, even if she doesn't hit it. Well, she thinned oh, it. Oh, she thinned it. Wow. Well, now she's on two fouls. Now she can be in trouble if yeah. Lena if Lena gets this cue ball behind the five, she's in big trouble here. Yeah, I agree. But if she has the one rail hit again, she'll be okay. See if Lena I think you're almost better that over direction. hitting that one to make sure you get a solid hook. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like she brushed that a little too thin, just like this last time. Yeah, same thing. Right? If you over hit that a little bit just to guarantee you get the hook on the five ball, it makes it a little bit harder to hit. Even if the one peaks out a little from the yeah. seven. Yeah, or you're the four, right? Yeah. At least I'd rather be solid behind that five ball. Gotta get behind the five. Yeah, if you're going to thin it, right? But, I mean, it, it still leaves an easy hit, right? You want to kind of get behind there. Yeah, she had to duck behind something. Yeah. April well, and April just kind of chance there. No. Just made sure she was hitting that one. Yeah. No slow roll in that ball. <laughs> no. That's no, it's not not terrible. It goes to the side, but, I mean, not not terrible. Tricky little Given what it was. The side too. These little cuts in the side are tough. That side looks like about the size of the ball right now. Yeah, it's pretty thin. And you've got to be 100% on on those type of side shots. Off a little bit, and it's not going to go. Yeah. And the cue ball close to the rail made it tough, too. Yeah. So the one does go. Looks like everything has a home from here. So it's really April's table to uh, this is the work key out. Shot. Yeah, just control the rock. And yeah, I missed the four, which she did perfectly. She did Beautifully, yeah. Right, three to the four. Well, I guess she could kind of screw back up the table to the top side. Four will go by the six. I think she'll be okay here. Yeah, I do too. Three to the four is the key shot too. Yeah. She already dealt with one, one problem. The one to the two was tricky. That's the problem with hard. these pockets, yeah. <clears throat> well, she was playing she didn't two need rail to play angle, that hard. Yeah, she didn't but need I like to play what that she hard. did with the angle she left on the three to just go two rails and out. Yeah, but I mean the five ball can come into play there. I, d I think she overhit that, especially knowing yeah, the corners the are the way they are here and the pockets are like that. 
If you're not 100% dead on the middle of that pocket, yeah, it's not heart. going. Yeah. Got to hit the heart. Yeah, she kind of overstroked that a little bit, in my I opinion. Thought, I thought she hit it a little hard, too. Her dad said she's been hitting balls too hard today. Yeah. She woke up, ate her Wheaties this morning. I guess. Had a power juice or something. <laughs> The adrenaline is flowing. I was yeah. going to say, you could be a little nervous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, seven ball tried to get in the it game did. there. It did, yeah. Tried to give her a TV shot moment. Oh, nice shot by Liz there. Yeah, really nice. Let's see. Inside juice. Yeah, she yeah. Gets perfect. On that wow, what a stroke. Perfect. It's a good. This could be a little bit of a tricky angle, though. I'm not sure. Yeah, she's straight on the four ball and get to the five ball. You just kind of going to, yeah. This Maybe you roll in behind the six ball. Yeah, this is tricky, right? Yeah. You if you're straight in, get, you almost have to go behind that six yeah. ball. Because I don't think you can hit the six full and move it out of the way. No. Yeah. Well, and you try to cheat the pocket, knowing the corners are, are really hard. You've yeah. got to be dead center pocket. So I just like rolling up. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, she can see it from there. Oh, yeah, can she make it though? And is it too straight? Can she get back to the six with the cue ball on the rail? Right, it's tough to tell from our angles. Yeah. I mean, these tables right now, guys, are 30 feet from us. Yeah. Yeah, that was always going to be a little tricky. That it one. is, yeah. So do you go the two way here? No. Side bank with uh, just play it only stun in, here. just in case. I'm playing 100% safe. I'm banking the six down here, and I'm leaving the cue ball up behind the nine. I kind of like the two-way, because you can still get safe with, I mean, if your weight's on. If your weight's good, yeah. Right, just stun the cue ball right there. That gives you the seven down to the to the bottom right-hand corner. I don't mind that option either. Right, I'd rather just take it down if I can, right? That is true. You're playing a great player, so you don't want to give them too many extra chances if you don't have to. Right, and it's only because every time I do try to play safe like this, it does, and I can get dead, get a, my opponent dead I hooked. Kick, I kick but a ball they'll, in. Yeah, they'll kick a ball in, they'll hit it and leave me safe, and now it's a battle, right? I'm a big fan of the two-way. Well, I'm not um, sure what, oh, what she did She was trying to thin that, she I think. She tried to cut it in, maybe, in the long corner. She didn't hit it I hard think she tried that. to play thin safe. Yeah. And just missed it and went behind the ball instead. I think she was trying to get in behind the nine and the look back to the bottom diamond. There. It was yeah. a tricky little shot. It is, but I mean, this is this is why I say, right? I'd rather just go for it. If right? that was the case, if the you if let a player like April at the table, if the shot's fifty percent and the safe is fifty percent, I'm always taking the shot. Yeah, always. What's going on, Terry? Thanks for tuning in. Just wondering if we can see Brittany's. Looks like it's 2-2 over there. And Brittany's on the eight. So she should be going up 3-2. She's playing Sandy Badger over there. She is, she hit that good. Oh, over hit. So she is on the nine ball, but she's got a cut. Cue ball's on the rail, yeah, she's working. She's uh, she's in tough, but she's, uh, she's the type of player she can handle that. The the grinder with her first lead of the match. Oh, Liz got unlucky there. Liz got really unlucky. So I think Aaron will tie that match up. Might have time for a small commercial break in between these racks. We definitely could. So April did make that nine ball, so she is up now 3-2. Three 3-2, two. Three two, and Aaron tied it 2-2. Two two. Oh. And we're having some technical difficulties with the, the music in here, so Ryan's just going to go see if he can figure it out. Yeah, use his expertise, being a power engineer by trade. 
Looks like April came up dry on the break again. That's not, that's not good. She's got to start making some balls on the break. She does. Can't give Liney too many chances at uh, an open table like this. Exactly. Right? Everything goes, everything has a home. From here, it's a matter of control the rock, control your speed. Which she does. She very does extremely well. well. With the bat, with the best of them. Yeah. And I think on the other table. Oh, wow, nice shot. They're taking a break, actually. She's just banging balls right oh, now. Oh, is she? Okay. Yeah. yeah, they're just taking a little washroom break. Nice shot there. She's overran this a little. A little bit, but she's still got lots of lots of table to play with. Yeah, that bring that, you back into shape there. That five goes in lots of different pockets. Yeah. Actually it goes in all six of them. It sure does. Jamie's score, let's see. Three nothing for somebody. I would assume they're sitting in the right spot. Oh, it's three gotta nothing push for it. Val. Oh, good shot. Little bit lucky, she might have got the members rubbed there, but uh, nonetheless, she, uh, she made a good shot. The shooters roll. Yeah, well, and you got to be careful here. Nice soft touch, I would think, on this. She's pretty smooth on those shots. Oh, oh wow. wow. Just off a touch. She tried to hit, to use, uh, that would have been left hand spin. That hit straight to throw that into the that pocket. A little bit of spin just didn't grab because the, yeah. the new cloth it's still sliding instead yeah. of grabbing. Good morning, JR from New Zealand. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for tuning in. It's pretty early. You must be on your way to work. That or you really love pool to wake up at 6.30 to watch. Can't say I've ever woke up at 6.30 a.m. to watch pool. No. Well, maybe you're just an early riser anyway, right? Sure. There are those that just get up at 6 o'clock. You never know. <laughs> My curse, yeah. David, I can tell you, I've only been on the mic for like a half hour yesterday. And my curse was curse so like three strong. People, yeah. <laughs> Commentator curse is real. Then mine's power, powerful curse. Yeah, you got the most powerful one of all. It's true. So again, same type of shot from, uh, from April here on uh, same as the last rack. Nice little back cut, long table. Control that cue ball. Yeah, she played the shot in the last rack from the opposite side of the That's table. Right. And yeah. She hit it perfect. She did, nutted it just <laughs> like that. She hit the hard, dead, didn't even touch the rail. Yeah, yeah. Dead, dead perfect. Nice little angle just to float down. Yeah, take a 4-2 lead. Yeah. <coughs> and guys, of course, if you can help us out, share the stream, we'd greatly appreciate that. The more the merrier. A lot of amazing ladies pool going to be played today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Careful. Uh-oh. Careful. Oh my goodness, April. I, uh, I was just a fan of floating that ball in. Yeah, with a touch of inside. A touch of inside, yeah. float it down there. Yeah. I mean, so you, you might take a little bit of a, uh, an angly cut, but. It's Sunday in New Zealand, of course it is. It's a rest day. And Dave says her cue ball got kicked in on the break. Oh, we missed that part. But I mean, that's a big swing, right? That's a huge swing. Right, 4-2 instead of now 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, she's going to she's going to shoot a few practice shots now, try to get that out of her system. Yeah. Lena's going to take a quick break. It looks like Aaron and Liz are back up and going. Oh, it's Sunday over there. That's why. Yes. Why are, if it's a rest the rest day, how come you're up at 6.37 a.m. That doesn't sound like a rest day. That doesn't sound like a rest day at all. But we uh, listen, we appreciate you getting up that early to tune in. Absolutely. So it's already Father's Day in New Zealand. And thank you, Miss Cavana. We appreciate that. Oh, wow. I am working, uh, working on Father's Day. Is it Father's Day today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. I'm still working Which on Father's Day. Which you're also working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, David. 
Help us out, share that stream. Invite your friends, family, share to any of the pool groups you're members of. I think even your cats and dogs would appreciate watching this kind of pool. Oh, yeah, Some good action. Good. We're gonna watch the grinder grind this, this match out here. Absolutely. She is the reigning champ. She is the defending champ. She won this last year off of a uh, really aggressive bank shot. Oh, she played so good. She played amazing last year. I think year. she banked a ball with the rest. Yes, she did. And she <laughs> just went, went in it. Like, no hesitation. I remember that she like, it was, like it, it was yesterday. Yeah, and I mean, with it, authority. It helped that she was up probably. Oh, well, she was 7-2 at that well, point. Quite right? a bit ahead. But. <laughs> yeah. She was 7-2 at that point and just aggressive. Yeah, she played so good. That was fun to watch. That was amazing. Yeah. At 17 years old, she was shooting the eyes off the ball. It was sick. Yeah. And no fear. Like, no nothing. It was fun to watch. It was, yeah. I love fearless pool. My cats do. They catch the ball. They try to catch <laughs> the balls, yeah. Love it. We've got a package deal yeah. going on right now, Steven. It's a shooter, breaker, jumper, and a predator case. 20 bucks a ticket. Yeah. And there's 23-ish sold out on that already. Out of 60. Yeah, just started yesterday, so chances are it could, could go today. We're just about halfway sold, so yeah, could go today. Yeah. Sorry, Steven, we don't have any picks right now. We had picks, and then... Uh, Whatever gremlins uh, were in Ryan's phone ate the pictures. Yeah, some, somehow they, they got deleted or crashed somewhere. Holy cow, JR. What time do you get up in the morning? Normally watch your games at 5 a.m. after a gym workout. You're up at 4 a.m. every morning, sounds like to me. Sounds like he wakes up at 4 to go to the gym, yeah. Then come back, get a little Q Sports live action. Get the fix in for the day and then off to work. Yeah, I think she'll let that shot go. Uh, oh, she sure will. She doesn't let that kind of stuff bother. Yeah. She's too experienced already. And she got the luxury of Lena taking a break so she gets to shoot all these balls and try to forget about it. Oh, look how lucky Liz got there, wow. Missed that ball by quite a bit, and I think the six got in, back in the game. And uh, oh, brackets online. They are actually on the Hidden Spot Facebook page. Yeah, Stephen didn't delete him. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We're done blaming Stephen for all our problems. But oh no, we're not. I'll still blame him. I'll still. I won't. I won't let him live that one down. Had uh, over 200. 200? The viewers when uh, he decided to turn the power bar off and totally killed everything yesterday. We were watching some good matches at the time, yeah. yeah and it was kind of at one of those pivotal times, right? Like a 7-6 or 7-7 seven, seven yeah, match. Yeah, I think the match was tied at like 6 yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a time that you want to have your power get cut off. Alright, looks like they're ready to start again. Lena's going to break here. She's switching sides. I don't know why she would switch sides. Yeah, she was having some good success. Yeah, she was crushing it from the other side. This is the side she was breaking against Bonnie from. Now. Eight ball is going to go. And the one ball. One ball. Eight ball. Nice. The Does four she? hitting on the two. Yeah, four oh. gets in the game. That so what do you do from here, Ben? Do you, do you push out or do you play safe? Yeah, I push from here. I like the push too. It's tough to play safe here. Yeah. It's tough to push here too. You have to push to a kick safe. Well, I think I'm going to push just up by the three ball. I'm still going to let her see it because it's, it's tough to get a safety out of there. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Right? So I, I kind of want her to be able to see it. 2.30 a.m. Get up at 3.30 gym, five pool. Holy Hannah. What time do you go to bed? Yeah, you must go to bed at like, like six. Like six? <laughs> <laughs> So she chose to try the kick safe right away, and she didn't get it. Yeah, that's. Uh, I like the push the out option better there. 
Uh oh. Oh, what she? Uh -oh. She hit that soft. I thought she would have just ran into the nine. Yeah. She's okay though. Well, she could still play rail first, even if she was hooked. But yeah. uh, that's uh, awfully chancy. That was a little risky. And she she get does a little have straight a little straight here too. Yeah, a little bit. She does have a little bit of angle. And I'm almost a fan of going forward on this. I think I am too. Right, just because I know these pockets play tough. They'll right? accept if you're not the ball dead, a little more with, yeah. with top than they will with draw. Well, unless you just nut the shot. If you just shoot the eyes off the balls, then that's fine too. Yeah. That also works. Thank you, Edwidge, <laughs> for posting that link. Oh, my. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, she's getting away with uh -oh. it. Look at this. She got but away she, with oh, it. Oh, she did. Four is just beyond. I thought she might leave that 4-9 kind of somewhat wired up. It was looking a little dangerous for a moment. It was. You can almost still kick behind and try to put the 9 side. Thank you, Steven. We'll send out those tickets for you right away. <laughs> he's saying no problem because he said Steven. I don't know if you're allowed to sit anywhere around up here. Just because we don't need the power turned off today. <laughs> <laughs> Guarantee now that you said that, he'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> So it looked like Lena thinned that four and got pretty safe. That was a good shot. That was a really good shot. Oh, that was a little unlucky. Lena played a good shot there. Lena played a good safe, and April kicked and hit it and got a little unlucky. Ended up double kissing it and left it on. She well, did. I think Lena will just stun this ball in and shoot five in the side, six in the side. Yeah, it's pretty much tic-tac-toe from here. Looks like the ladies on the other table took a break again. I didn't see who won that last game. No, I, I think didn't it either. was Liz. What's happening, Tim? How are you, buddy? Yeah, it was Liz. Three, two, four, Liz. If you can get pictures of those, that'd be great. Okay. Liz won that one. And it looks like Lena's gonna move that bead. Take back the lead. Maybe we can run a quick commercial up on there since we got nothing going on in between racks. We certainly can. My sister's cleaning company, Flawless Maids. You guys need your house cleaned or your office cleaned. And she is the one to do it, let me tell you. Oh, absolutely, she's really she good at what she does. very, very, very good. So in and around Calgary area, certainly give her a call. They do have a Facebook page as well. Yeah, absolutely. Check them out on there. Give them a like and a follow, too. Flawless maids. Absolutely. Then we've got uh, Elaine Reaper, one of our... Long-time long advertisers. Long-time advertisers. She is uh, a realtor with Remax Realty up in Edmonton. Uh, again, up in the Edmonton and surrounding areas. If you're looking to sell or buy a house, give her a shout. One of the best in the business up there. Looks like April almost scratched on the break there. And she came up dry. Tough shot on the one in the side though from there. She's jacking up too. Oh, she went for the bank and she nutted it. What a shot. That was impressive. 
Doesn't really have a shot on the two, but nonetheless, that was a power shot. Here, you do those. Edwidge sent money for the Q package too. Thank you, Edwidge. Indeed, we appreciate that. And I'll, uh, did we send her the 50-50 pickers, uh, pictures yep. for today? Okay. We sure did. Perfect. So we'll, we'll get you your Q raffle ticket out right away. And yes, Barry, April is sponsored by Peshawar. Super nice cues. They do quality work. So I'm just curious with 140 uh, people that are on here watching right now, is there anybody new? Newcomers, new watchers to Q Sports Live. Let us know, we'll give you a, a shout out on the stream. Yeah, any first time watchers? Looks like Aaron and Liz are getting ready to start up again. <coughs> April played a great shot on that three and just got no reward at all rubbing the four ball. <laughs> David Wilson, you are not new. Casey, welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Where are you from, Casey? First time today. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Meach, thanks yeah. for tuning in, Kelly. Where are you from? And for uh, both of you and anybody else that is new, make sure you've gone onto our Facebook page, click the like and the follow button. By doing so, you'll be notified each and every time that we go live. You'll have the option to join in on the stream. And it'll be the same tomorrow as what it is today, always free for you. And also go into our uh, our archives. There's over over a thousand different um, uh, streams in the archives for you to go back, have a look at. There's a lot of amazing pool in those archives. Yeah, there was a really good match last night. Um, Bev and Emily went hill hill. You guys can go back and watch. That was a really good match. The score, Jamie and Val's score. 4-1, I believe, for Val. Olympia, Washington, live in Vegas now. Oh, nice. I was just there for about two weeks. You were? You did, rather, uh, you, did, you did rather well down there, Ben. Came home a world champ. <laughs> Gotta love it. I played on the right team. Oh, uh, you played well. You all played well. Minnesota. Thanks for sharing, Tim. Hopefully 1,200 people see it. Absolutely. And thank you, Michelle. <laughs> too regular. No such thing as too regular. No way. We appreciate the regular. Not new, but only one owner and low mileage. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Jim. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one, Jimmy. Oh, 5-3, Lena, over there. So update that one. Also, for, uh, for those that are new to us that aren't sure who's talking, my name is Grant. Beside me is the one and only Ben, Mr. Franchise Francis. Yeah, that's and me. Ryan's keeping quiet with it. Ryan is. Send, send him tickets out. For Ryan's. once, Ryan's actually keeping quiet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm yeah. just bugging you. I didn't know that you had the, the headset on, Ryan. Yeah, Grant just uh, woke me, so now I'm going to have to fight back. Uh, yeah, of course. Of course. I would expect nothing less. But uh, Ryan, Mr. Ryan up sitting beside me as well. We'll try to get our camera up and running that... Uh, actually shows us when we get a break because i don't when we get a break everything yes again. Yeah. yeah i think he's quiet because he's just stunned by how good the pool's been today it's already. been it really, it's been good, really good, good for morning pool yeah. come on this has been good and see i like morning pool I not like me a few others, no no morning and pool should never be in the same sentence no it should be outlawed to be honest that's why pool they didn't start, start matches till at till least noon. three o'clock oh, look outside oh. pocket my oh. views are changing now that i'm sleeping in a little bit 
Yeah. Until six, six in the morning instead of four in the morning now. Yeah. Well, it's a nice shot from uh, from Line A there. Kick that two into a safe spot. Hi, Royce, and thank you, Stephen, for sharing. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate it. Royce, how are you, buddy? Thanks for tuning in again, in again, as always. We don't have a picture of that queue yet, but we'll get one soon. Nope. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to make Ryan go down and get it done. As soon as we got one, we'll send it to you personally, Royce. But it's a good package. You're going to like that one, Royce. The big Balua to break you. Oh, Aaron okay. made two great shots there. The seven was super tough. It was, yeah. She cut it in, went up and down, brushed the nine. Almost scratched in the side again. <laughs> side pockets being a little friendly for her. It is. There you go, something to watch while the wife is shopping. Oh, you gotta like that. What could be better than watching this? <laughs> we appreciate that, Scott. That was Liz that won that one, right? That was Aaron that won that one. Was that Aaron? Yeah, tie match over there. Tie game. And we need the grinder to, to start grinding here. Absolutely. Yeah, Ryan is the boss. You're right, Barry. Who what? I like that. <laughs> That's what we like to let him think. Yeah, we just... Yeah. We like to let Ryan think that he's the boss. <laughs> Royce hopes it's a 24 by 24 case. I don't, I no, don't think so. No, it's definitely... No, it's a 4 by I 8. Take I know two. that you need that, Royce, is a 24 by 24, but unfortunately, uh, no, it's a 2 by 2 case. If we got enough, enough interest, I could pick one up and raffle it, but... Yeah, it, the traveler's case is uh, kind of a special needs yeah. when you're yes, uh, going to Vegas and hauling a bunch of other players' queues down. Then uh, I can see the validity in that, but uh, for the average player, the, the travel case is not, or the 24 by 24 is not necessary. So the girl on the left that's breaking right now, that's Erin McManus. She actually streams a lot of her practice games from home. She does, yeah. Very good player. I think she got fourth here last year. Yep. Third nope. Third. Uh, third. Th the year. Kathy third Metz last was year. Fourth Kathy place. got fourth, right? Yeah. Very good player, as you can tell by her break right there. She yeah, crushed it. She crushed that. Absolutely crushed that. Lena got no, a little funny. But you know what? Funny. There, there's so many good players in the room. Oh, there's right? a ton. I've been looking forward to this event. We get to give the ladies a little bit of love on the stream. And uh, there is some really big talent in the room. Well, you'll be a better player after this weekend, too. I should. Just watching this. Yeah. These girls shoot straight. They shoot good. And to be honest, I, I, I think I've played about four times on a nine-foot table. And I started hitting them, what day was it, Friday? Th Thursday night. Thursday night? Thursday night. Thursday yeah. night on, uh, on the nine-foots. And I, I gained a level of appreciation for the nines. It's like the best I game ever. I actually like them the best game yeah you got a lot of room to work absolutely monica webb is here bo she's on one of the outer tables right now yeah way down at the way end down where down we the can't end. see yeah. the score she's sitting in front of it so can't tell what her uh what her score is but yeah you've got uh, april larson monica webb sandy badger kathy metzinger uh, Lena. Emily Duddy. Lena, Lena, who you see Lena, shooting yeah. eyes off the balls right now. Yeah, she is she's just pure in them in. Yeah. Uh, Kyoko from Japan. Yeah, Kyoko arrived today. Yeah. yeah. I believe Monica's match is A side still. Um, yeah, it is A side. Yeah, she's playing Sarah Miller right now. And it looks, somebody's got two. I can't tell whether it's Monica that has two. And both these matches are winner side too. Yeah. Around the world, drive by the seven, she says. Thanks for posting that, David. There is the link. Elaine says, Stephanie is the actual boss though, right? Oh yeah. I'll let well, Grant answer in, that in one. Grant's house. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> It, it depends. Um, there are times where she's the boss. There are times when I'm the boss. But when she gets angry, she's not just my boss. She's my boss, Ryan's boss, Ben's boss. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's everybody's boss. Yeah. Um, but she has to be angry for that. 
Um, but once she is angry, we all know that, yeah, she's the boss. Looks like April came up dry again. Yeah. She must be doing something goofy with that rock, or they must have a bad magic rock over there or something. No, because Lion they were, making No, them. they were asking to get it changed out. Yeah? Yes. It's yeah, not holding the ball tight. Yeah, the wing ball should be just flying in no matter how you hit it. Yeah. She chose the kick safe again. Yeah. And she got pretty long. It is long, but it's makeable. Right? Yeah. Especially for uh, for April. I think and I'm, you know what? I know that there's been a couple of people on that have, have been uh, Team April. Uh, I'm joining in on that. Uh, very similar to Ben. Um, April said that if she wins this tournament, she's going to dedicate it to Barry Huey. So uh, I am now Team Larson. Team Larson. Let's go grinder. <coughs> That's going to turn out okay. Yeah, she's yeah, getting safe she's, for sure. Uh, she's going to get the members roll there. Not just a little bit safe. That's really safe. Yes. Although you can go in behind the eight. I don't know if you can. That's a little tricky. It is. But I think, uh, I mean, hit the, hit the cue ball behind the eight ball and you're guaranteed the hit. Yeah, I wonder if she tries to hit it thin enough to kind of leave it there. Oh, oh she went at it Rub the eight. Yeah. Give us a nine combo. <laughs> Show some hearts, absolutely. We'll show some hearts. <laughs> All right, come on, Grinder. Got to stick around in this match. Yeah. And I don't, uh, I don't think she's overly concerned. But this is a, a pretty important game here. And it looks like Aaron ran out that last rack. I think she hooked herself on the two ball. I believe she has. She might have rail first, or she could always reach for the jump cue if she needed to. I think there's a... she just play a little rail first here. She's she okay. She could, yeah. She caught it a little thick. She's getting decently yeah. safe, though. And I think that's what she was looking at when she walked over to this side of the table. If she does miss and it goes up table, is she going to leave a shot? Right. She definitely thinks through the game really well. She does. Yeah. <clears throat> Very uh, like uh, another young superstar, Stephen Halem. Yeah, who thinks through the game really yeah. well, too. Absolutely. Are you still streaming anything, Tim? I don't know, Tim had started out about a year, year and a half ago. He was streaming some, some matches. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How's our volume, guys? We should have asked that before. Hopefully the volume works, is, uh, is good for you guys. We're not too loud, not too, uh, not too quiet. Uh, I think yours looks good. Yeah. I always like to ask. Nice shot by Aaron there. Wow, yeah. she's, she's turning it up. She caught a gear. She's in stroke, feeling confident. Yeah. Nice shot. Shot by April, yeah. Does she have a shot on that three? I don't know if yeah, it passes the four in the top uh, left. She got a shot at it, but uh, I think she's going to play the combo. Volume's good. Thanks for the feedback, guys. Perfect. Thank you. Whoops. And there is our commentator's curse. Yeah. Well, I on both sides. <coughs> no, well, on both, right? Yeah. I didn't think that three went, though. Oh, no, three didn't go for sure. I thought it was pretty tight. I thought she was playing the, the combo. She looked like she was almost just playing safe anyway. This sounds extraordinary, says Marvin. Oh, I like that. That could be the word of the day. That I like that. Next time somebody makes a good shot, I'm it's using that word. It's extraordinary. Wasn't just Love a good it. shot. It's an extraordinary shot. Love it. Like if she was to kick this ball in, that would be extraordinary. That would be extraordinary. Oh, she hit it good. She did hit it good. And Ryan's messing around. Yeah, she tried to cheat the pocket a little to make that three and didn't miss by much. No. Thought she hit it pretty good. Jumping on the other table. Oh.
extraordinary. So we got Kathy Metzinger. It looks like she's up eight. One or eight two on Emily Duddy over there. Who what? Kathy Metzinger, she's up eight one or eight two on Emily Duddy on one of the side tables. Wow. Looks like she came to play this morning. What are some other scores we got here? I think we got Kyoko up three two. Val's match is at 4-2. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think who. Val's up 4-2. We've got Taruko and uh, Joanne Ashton. They're at 6-2. Taruko's, Taruko's up 6-2. 6-2. Yeah. And uh, I think Brittany's up 6-2 on Sandy over in the corner. Line is from actually right now from uh, Georgia. Georgia, Alabama. But originally from originally Trondheim, from Norway. Norway. Thanks, James. Yeah. Yeah, these, yeah, these they two are tables the nine are foot nine foot diamonds. The whole tournament for the ladies is run on nine foot tables. Wow, she is just putting the heat on the defending she champ here. She really is. <laughs> she really, really is. Up seven, deuce, race to nine. Oh, Aaron just missed a, a pretty seven, easy three. five ball. Seven three, sorry, yeah. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Hamza, thanks for tuning in, buddy. Where's Hamza? Hamza's under Abdullah, but. Ah, Hamza, brother, how are you, buddy? It's been a minute since I've seen you or talked to you. He was on for a bit last night, I think, too. Yeah, I wasn't on last night. You, well, you maybe a half hour. On. He was on pretty late, right near the end. Looks like Liz is going to tie it up over there. When did we get that cool little update? Uh, about a week ago. Got some, some new techie stuff. Sean Jolly, what's going on, buddy? It has been a minute since I've talked to you, too. It's 5-3. Five, 5-3? Three. Five, three? For Liz. 5-3, five, five, three. Liz. We had a score malfunction there. We counted the wrong game last game, I think. That, yeah. was, that was my bad. You're fired. You have one job. Well, usually they <laughs> sit on the side of their score. I had one job. You had one job, Ben. I actually have multiple jobs. Yes, you did. But in this particular case, it was I just had one, one job. It was one job. <laughs> we did get some new toys. Uh, expensive upgraded. Toys. Yeah. yeah, they were a little expensive, but that's all right. Yeah. Oh, How awesome. expensive doesn't matter. No, nope. it's cool. Um, we upgraded our, uh, our, wi our Wirecast Pro uh, version, and uh, we got uh, a new tower custom built so we can run multiple camera angles which we will bring to you as soon as we shut down and restart. We'll start showing you some of the angles. Uh, Dan, she's been shooting really well like she always does. She's hitting a little firm today. She hasn't made morning. too many mistakes. Lena's played really good. We'll have them walking around with bunny ears, Steven <laughs> says. Like, we'll get Snapchat we'll get filters Snapchat. going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we won't go that far, don't worry. We'll, we'll keep it. Oh, it'll Less be cheesy uh, than it'll Snapchat. Be, yeah, it'll be good. It'll yeah. be it'll be fun but professional, right? Exactly. We're not uh, we're not opposed to having fun. That's what we want to do. Um, we're not opposed to doing pro ams or pro events, but ninety five percent of what we do is all amateur pool. We're here to support the game at all levels. Try to grow it. You can yes. only grow it through the amateur level. That's it. That's where it all starts. 
Yeah, that would be awesome, Sean. Uh, just so everybody knows, uh, Sean's going to attempt to uh, put together a, uh, a fundraising tournament, uh, memorial tournament for Barry out in Ontario. So, buddy, we, we really appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's awesome, we, Sean. Uh, Thanks, buddy. We really miss Barry, uh, especially in this event. Um, he would have loved to have been here, you know, hanging out with all the ladies. And he was uh, a really big supporter of this event. So um, we've got uh, a chair tipped up for him at the at the bar with uh, a beer sitting in front and a reserve sign for uh, for our buddy Barry. Yeah, Steph's here. She's uh, she's running the tournament. She is the TD. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, Hamza. But that's all right. I'm here now. I probably won't stay on long because I still have to get some of the uh, player profiles done. Um, yeah, we'll switch it out today. We'll have Dave on here, and we'll have yeah. maybe we'll, we'll get, have, get a couple of uh, guest commentators. Yeah, we'll get Vivian. Maybe we'll get Brittany Bryant, or yeah, we'll get a couple of the ladies on. Hundred percent agree, James. Uh, I was uh, with Barry when he passed, um, and it was uh, well, we're, it was it was pretty uh, pretty rough. But uh, yeah, he was gone too soon. You're right, yeah, James. Hundred percent. Thanks for the kind words, guys. You jinxed it. Appreciate Steven. that. Looks like April is stringing together some balls here. Uh, actually, Jim, yes, there has been talk about that. And in fact, I was talking with Barry's daughter uh, this morning. Uh, I'm going to head over to Barry's place tomorrow morning. And uh, out, of, out of his trophies, we're going to select one of his trophies to, uh, to use and rename as the Alberta Cup trophy. Aaron, get that, Ben. Yeah, we'll do that, Johnny, for sure. Uh, we'll probably use one of one of Barry's plaques, um, and then just put maybe attach that plaque to the chair with a permanent reserved. Absolutely, placard. I love it. Yeah, love the idea. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we'll rename the Alberta Cup to the Huey Cup. Yeah, we will. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think the I will. The Huey One Time Cup. It's no. got to be done. No, we'll rename the trophy. I won't play it then. <laughs> yeah, you will. And there's there's a reason for that. Um, the Alberta Cup is somewhat limited to the number of players that will qualify and so on and so yeah, forth. Yeah, absolutely. So I would rather have a full-on memorial tournament that is open for everybody because that's how Barry would have wanted it, is for everybody to be there, everybody to be included. Um, but to rename the Alberta Cup the Barry Cup or the one-time cup, um, I'm not a fan because it is reserved or limited as far as who can play in it. I thought we would just do both. We can toss around ideas. We can, yeah, we'll, t we'll toss around some ideas. And don't worry, guys, I will play. <laughs> 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 Wouldn't miss it for the world. Yeah. That, that was one of my... I knew that was an empty threat. <laughs> one of my biggest goals of the entire year last year was make that team. Yeah. Win or lose, I didn't care. I just wanted to be on the team. I had to show the boys that I was capable. That's right. And yeah. that I was grinding and I think and you it, snuck in on the last the last tournament too. I did. Yeah, I worked I worked hard yeah. for that one. Yeah, yeah. you sure did. <laughs> I think me and Albert just barely made it. Yeah. But we both played good. We both deserved it. Unfortunately, only one of us played good when it came down to the <laughs> actual <laughs> cup. We won't, we won't say which one, but All right, that's let's a, that's see. That's a lot of different pressure than a lot of guys are used to, too. That yeah, was that's, the most that's, that's, that's one of the things that was talked about was how was, much pressure that yeah, was. Yeah, who was saying that's the most pressure they've ever put? Was that Brian? That was Brian, yeah. Yeah, and he's played in Me a too. lot of that tournaments. Me, too. That was yeah. more than Vegas. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah. more than winning the, yeah. the Masters that was, just because of the was, atmosphere. Yeah, was, that was a tough one. It was very closed in and a lot of people watching. And you got, you know, 
six teammates and a captain that you're going to let down. So you're yeah. letting down seven people if you yeah. don't play good, right? Yeah. Well, it looks like April's kind of getting back into yeah, this. Yeah, she's getting back in this match for sure. Yeah, she's got to kind of pick it up a bit. But she she's staying around, 7-5. She's right in the match. She really only needs to fade one break, and she can tie this up at 7. Absolutely. What's the That's what I like, Tony. Match? You know, I, 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 I kind of thought about it a lot. Um, whether we should rename the Alberta Cup. Um, and I, I really don't think we should. I think, yes, we can do some things that include Barry in there. Um, and the only reason I, I don't want to do it is because it is a limited field. Um, we can certainly do some things once the, the team is chosen and, and kind of do some memorial things that way. But to rename it, um, I'm not a fan because it is it is somewhat limited to the number of people that can play in it. I I get and, I and totally get that too. It makes sense, right? Well, yeah. Grant and I talked about this over the last almost two months because that was brought up. Yeah. We yeah. thought about that, and it's yeah a full-on memorial tournament. I think is the way to go. I yeah, because then everyone can play. And you're right. Who yeah. he, who he wouldn't want something named after him that everyone can't play. Yeah. That's right. right. That's right. So I mean, um, I've got a couple of ideas as far as what we're gonna do with uh, with that. Uh, obviously, some of the other things that are coming down the lines for you guys, actually. Um, we have a lot of exciting things coming down the line, guys. I'm telling you, uh, you'll want to stay tuned. You'll want to stay uh, kind of tuning into into what we're doing because we have a lot of exciting things coming down the line. Yeah, there's lots um, of good stuff coming up. Huge, yeah. right? Um, and a lot of those things are going to start in the fall. Um, but once they get here, it is uh, it is amazing, the some of the stuff that we've got coming. Um, you know, a lot of the other guys out there, they, they do really well at selling the sizzle. Um, and not to take anything away from any other streamer, because we appreciate them, right? Anything to do with growing this game, we're a fan of. We love it, yeah. But they're very, very good at selling the sizzle, but they have to remember that we are the stake. We are the big ones. We are the largest in North America right now. We are con going to continue to do the innovative stuff that we started off doing. We're going to continue doing that. We're still going to bring out some new things. We have some huge, huge things coming down the line. Um, and it, it does take some, some time to get them all developed and so on and so forth. Um, so a lot of those things are going to come out in the fall. Uh, sorry, in the, yeah, in the fall. And uh, once those, those kind of come to fruition, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's nobody out there going to have what we have, guaranteed. Uh, we'll be first to market with it, and uh, it is for you guys. Um, that's all I can say about it. But with all of those things that, that are coming, all of that does tie into what I want to do with, uh, with the uh, memorial for Barry. We want to add a bunch of money to it. So That's not a bad idea, James. I like that. Yeah. Name the MVP for the Alberta Cup after him. There you go. I will See? play my... Yeah. You bet. Rear end off for that one. <laughs> and Wayne Knight, I think the score over there is 5-2 for Val in Jamie's match. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we don't have a, a projected date for a memorial tournament yet. Um, it, again, it's still fresh. Uh, we're heading off on, on Thursday um, for his service. Uh, he's got it on Thursday, and then uh, they're taking him to Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, uh, and that service will be on Saturday. So um, it's still a little fresh yet. Um, I know myself, I'm still uh, affected by it Yeah. Uh, because I was there. Uh, I watched it happen, and... Uh, I can tell you that no, no man, uh, regardless, I, I know it was Barry, but no man um, deserves to go out the way he did. Uh, I'm not going to elaborate on it. I don't want to become too emotional on the, on the live stream, but uh, he did not deserve to go out that way. Thank you, Elaine. And... Uh, yeah, so anyway, I still do get a little... Yeah, Chris, I'll send that to you right now, buddy. There was uh, was a post on Thursday. It's Thursday afternoon, but I'll send it to you in, in your view, inbox, too. Yeah.
Yeah, we'll do, Elaine. Yeah, hundred percent. It was, uh, it was a big shot. Even though, I mean, we we kind of knew it was coming. It, um, it did happen pretty quick. That was and a nice safe fight. Landing there. Yeah, no doubt. And I'm I'm trying really hard not to kind of go down this line too much. I obviously I want to pay tribute to a friend of mine, but uh, we'll talk about pool. <laughs> ah, great shot. What a shot. Get in there. What? Oh, that's be wow. oh, oh what nice. What a angle. shot. That, that was, was good. Nice, yeah. That was an amazing shot. She had a couple issues jumping last I'm, night. Uh, so. I'm just going to go take a quick five minute. Next. I'll do that as soon. I got there's only two. Yes, sir. See if she can get over this ball. Oh, nice shot. how'd she hit it, folks? She hit. She hit that real good. Thanks so. for tuning in, Stacy. If we can get everybody to click that chair button too, I don't know if we've asked that in a while. We've got a lot of new view viewers on. Nice kick by Aaron there. Extraordinary, they say. Extraordinary. The jump and the kick. Wow. These girls are coming with the TV shots today. Or she jumped a little bit of mass. A that was a nice hit. Looks like she's gonna get really good here, too. Oh, Lena cut the six and hung it. April made the six and hooked herself on the seven. She's gonna have to come with a jump shot here, I think. Cut this in the side. That's a tough one. That second bounce, it tends to jump Ooh, over the edge he, of that seven. Yeah, that's a that super tough shot. Bounce, yeah. Kicking it doesn't really do you any good, though. You can't get shape on the eight. No. And actually, he's not checking the weather. He's not smoking. He quit smoking, guys. He quit. So did I. Oh, look at that. Not unlucky. Oh. oh, did it stay up? It did. Oh, wow. Ooh. Nice. Nice shot. Nice shot. She's coming with it now. She's turning on the heat. Mm -hmm. She started a little slow, but well, she's, she, she needs she's this building it's, up. It's on her opponent's break, too. If she can get this back, she gets one and breaks She next. can tie it up. Yeah. Well, and she can't let her opponent get on the hill. No. She can't be downhill five. That's tough. Thanks so much for sharing, Tony. Sean, we don't have a picture yet, if that's what you're wondering, for the Q package. We're going to try to get oh one no, of those out today. We've got quite a few tickets left on that. Yeah, there's tickets in total were 20 some odd sold, somewhere around there. Yeah, we're, we're getting close to halfway sold. Seems to be a TV exhibition yeah, match. Yeah, nice. Well, she stroked that eight ball in like it was a hanger. That was probably a tougher shot than the jump. Wow, what a that was a spectacular out. She made she made two really good shots there, the jump and the and the long shot on the eight. Two great shots. Do I happen to have the score for Brittany Bryant? I do happen to have the score. It's six four Brittany. Sandy breaking. And for
for Mr. Wayne Knight. Val is up 6-2 against Jamie. Um, Kathy Metzinger was up 8-1 against Emily Duddy. It's now 8-5. Emily is mounting a comeback. And Chris, if you're still watching, I just sent you a message to your inbox, buddy. Some dates. Looks like April came up dry on another break. So I think we'll see Lena push out here, but it, it's kind of a tricky little push out. Yeah, I think just you just leave the jump. jump. Yeah. yeah. That's really all you can do nowadays when you push is leave the jump. What that cuts in that close to rail, I think I give this back to her. Oh, absolutely. I'm giving it back to her. It's too too hard to keep the cue ball on the table, even if you did somehow jump Although and cut it in. There's that little window there. You don't have to jump it too high. But Yeah. Yeah, let's go, kid. Let's go, grinder. Tie this up. See what Lena's got for this jump shot. Oh, how good was that? Oh, she's getting unlucky. She got real unlucky there. Oh, yeah, Bo, of course. We congratulated her on graduating high school. It's, that's a good accomplishment. Yeah, Casey, I think you're right. She's not having too much success on the break as of yet today. I'm sure she'll figure it out. She's a smart player. She'll make some adjustments and figure it out. And it's 7-4 Liz over there. This match should be on TV, Abdullah says. Well, guess it what, is. Abdullah? <laughs> it is on TV. Yep. Sort of. It's as close as we're getting to TV right now. Oh, a little unlucky with the safety try there by April. Yeah, she did have one break and run. That was her second last break. Can she have a drink in Canada? Yes, she can. She's 18 now. Yeah, you can drink at 18 years old in Canada. Well, in Alberta. Yeah. BC's 19... Saskatchewan might be 19. I think all. every other province is 19. Alberta's the only 18. She will definitely not be having a shot of milk if she wins this tournament again this no. year. Last year she was doing milk shots after yeah. she won. Yeah, I think there's, there's a few few big ladies tournaments coming up in the next couple of weeks. Thanks, Brendan. Yeah, we're looking at uh, trying to get into the NAPT tour as well here to do stream a couple of those. Hamza got banned for one week. What'd you do, Hamza? I got to use your friend's account. Well, for sharing, I think. Too much sharing pool, hey? We appreciate I've it. I ran into that many times. Yeah, we I got, got, I got, we got a few. two or three accounts for the sharing I had at one point. Oh, great shot by April there and held the cue ball for the three. That was a good shot. The four is kind of in a sticky spot. I don't know if I, don't know if I like the four seven combo much. Bo, if, you put, uh, if, you, if you're putting it on your TV, put it through our YouTube stream. It's a lot better quality. Facebook goes out at 720. Uh, YouTube's full 1080. 1080p, yeah. And but then still follow along on the Facebook comments. A lot of guys do that. I'll put it on their TV on YouTube. Yeah, follow Facebook on your phone and watch the stream there on YouTube the on your NAPT's TV. The NAPT's got something in Quebec coming up. Yes, they do. Ladies. They sure do. All right, let's see if she can make this 4-7 combo. This is a little bit tough. She's going to have to hit this good. 
I wasn't a big fan of that. That was a tough no. shot. Yeah. Well, the seven got in the game on the six ball, so Lena might be playing a six-seven combo once she plays the four and the five. Yeah, and for anybody else watching, if you got your uh, volume on listening to us, go to our YouTube channel, click the subscribe button. We're coming close to giving away another cue. At 2,000 subscribers. <coughs> yeah, I think we're only about 18 subscribers away. It looks like Liz is going to get on the hill here. She can get on this nine ball. She got perfect. Eight, four, Liz Cole. She's playing good. I've been watching a little more of the other match, but every yeah. time I look over, Liz is firing in balls. Look at that leave for the six. Oh, wow, how'd she hit it? Yeah. That's a super shot to get there. Thanks again for tuning in, Christopher. Let's see if she ends up a little straight. I think she can just draw back and shoot the nine in the top left. Oh yeah, I think she's got enough angle to come down near that first diamond near the nine there. Yeah, just draw straight back. Nine's close enough down there, you can't even overdraw this as long as you're not going in that corner pocket. Exactly. She hit it. Pretty pure, I would say. And Erin made a ball on the break, but she got unlucky. The seven got in the game, hooked her on the one. She's not having any luck over there. Thanks, Chris, for subscribing. Uh, I believe we do Q giveaways for likes and follows on Facebook, too. At 10,000, no? Uh, we might have given away one. And Kathy Metzinger just beat Emily Duddy. 9-5. Metz wins 9-5. One of the first upsets. Bermuda, I thought. Good yeah, afternoon, Danny. Good. But yeah, for now, Casey, go to the YouTube page and subscribe, buddy, and make sure your settings are public so we can see you. Played a safety, not the combo. Dave, I would have to agree. I wasn't a big fan of the combo from there. That was a tough shot. Uh, what's Lena doing on this one? Is she going to try to back cut this in the top right? Oh, she had the side pocket. She put a super stroke on it, too. Everything's there. See if she can finish it off. Uh, Kathy Metzinger is from Edmonton. Back on the ladies pro tour. And she's back on the tour. She was rookie of the year. I'm not 100% not sure what year. It's on her, uh, can you crop? It's on her profile, yeah. Oh, Lena, Lena missed the two. April's got a chance. She's got to run out here, and then she's got to break and run and get a hill hill, put the heat back on Lena. And it looks like Liz has wide open spaces to try to finish off that match over there. Good shot by April. Liz rattled the ball in the corner. Oh, my commentary curse is getting good today, too. Wow. Well, let them catch up a little bit. I got them both. Yeah. Yeah, it's because I want to see closer matches. 
Hill Hill. Hill Hill is always the most fun. See the ten thousand dollar added race to one. Ten thousand added race to one. That would be nice to see. <laughs> Your son is a grinder fan, James. That's good to hear. I think there's a lot of grinder fans out there. She plays so good. I like your thinking there, Brandon. Uh, and Hamza, she's winning this rack. Positive thoughts only. These ladies are shooting really good. Yeah, you don't want to get your friends banned. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this has got to slow down. It's going. Sit there. Sit, sit, sit. I think she might be okay. She's got options. Lisa didn't roll too much further. She wouldn't have had many options if it rolled much further. I like banking this behind the nine and playing the cue ball up here behind the eight. Right. Hit, a, hit about half ball. Try to bank it to the middle of the table and try to freeze that cue ball on top of the nine. Let her shoot over top of it a long shot. If I could hook her or leave her jacked up, I would hook her for sure. She might be trying to cut this in. Looks like it. Let's watch the corner pocket. Yeah, oh, she, was, she was playing my shot. She overhit it a hair, but that's still not bad. Yeah. At least you don't sell out that way. She might be coming back to the table behind that nine ball. But uh, I feel like there's a good chance. But this is tricky. you got to roll this pretty slow to hold it behind the nine. Yeah. Looks like Erin is not saying quit yet. She's not done here. Oh, Lena chose to bank the seven up by the eight. What a smart shot that was. And she hooked her. That was a really good shot. Quiet, Hamza. We're trying to root for the grinder here, buddy. You must be a Lena fan. She's pretty much got to kick this in or get that cue ball behind the eight. It's going to need a big bounce. bounce. A little bit bigger. That could just buy her another shot. Yeah, that's leaving the bank or another attempt at a save. I wouldn't be surprised to see Lena to go for this bank. Yeah. But if she doesn't like it, she could thin the left side of the seven as we're looking at it. Try to get the cue ball up behind the nine there. That or bank it down, try to keep that eight ball in between. Go on your route. My calls have been good so far today. Got to hit it really thin, though. Try to leave it there, right? I think she hit it just a hair too thick, but she got the cue ball speed pretty good, right on the rail. Yeah. Not a bad shot at all by any means. From here, I think she got to go for that bank. Yeah, Liz has been crushing the break. I think, to cut it. I think she's got to cut this in. Yeah, that's really, you know, there's a safe there, but it's just as tough as the cut. She went for the bank. He's come past that side. Past the side, yeah. Get on up there, past. That'll do. She didn't leave the bank either. Well, that bank doesn't go from there. That's a try to bank the corner and leave the cue ball back up the table here. Yeah, I think you play the 7 2 rails. The, the Z shot, try behind to get it nine. behind the nine. Yeah, well, your cue ball's always going to be long. You're always going to keep uh, a lot of separation. Yeah, it looks like Hamza's a Lena fan. That's okay. We won't discriminate. We'll just ban. 
We'll just ban you. Yep. Or whoever your friend that you're using his account. Yeah, his account. Be <laughs> <laughs> no, you can cheer for whoever you want. As long as it's the person we're cheering for. As long as it's yeah. <laughs> as long as it's me every time yep. I'm playing. Oh look she at that. Good. She got yeah. lucky. She got so lucky there. That's not it's not at all what she was playing. She went for the bank and the ball went like three rails and ended up hooking her. Yeah, eight four Brittany, thanks for the update, spin it Vanessa. Off the back rail. Big bounce. Oh no. No, that's probably going to do it. I think Lena got a little lucky there. That was unfortunate for April. But there's still mistakes can be made here. Like if that cue ball got on the rail. If that cue ball was on the rail, she was in trouble. Yeah, I don't think she really played. She might have played the cue ball behind the eight, sort of. But I don't think she was counting that seven would just go three rails and end up perfect hook. It's not over yet, Hamza. Don't count them till they hatch. Okay, now you can count them. Now it's over. Pretty good shot she played there. She played a really good match. She puts the champ to the B side. So we'll watch Liz try to finish off this match too. 8-3 Taruko over Joanne, yep. Uh, what other scores we got here? 8-4 Brittany over Sandy. I can't see Val and Jamie score, Wayne, if you're still watching. American commentators are the most biased, especially in pool, Walter says. I would have to have to agree. We're just fun biased. We're we're Canadian, so we can't be considered American. We're only biased sometimes. Yeah. Not very often. Usually we're just rooting for and, close and, matches. And, and we're good about it. Yeah. No, she's on the B side, I think, or did she no, that was uh, that was an A side match, so yeah. she'll go to the B side. Yeah, that was a nice hit by Liz there. Just gotta be the B side grinder like Ben. Yeah, I've grinded a few B side matches in my life. I'm sure she has too. Probably more than me. Uh, Wayne Val is up seven two over there. Kiyoko is up 6-3 against Lisa. Aaron got so that pretty good. It's looking like if Kiyoko wins that match, we'll have her on the stream the next match for sure. Celeste, April lost. She lost 9-6. 9-7. That's going to be a tough hit for Aaron here. Liz got that good that kick. Yeah, we're supposed to be nice guys. That doesn't yeah. mean we always are. No. <laughs> 9-5, Monica. Yeah, that is correct. Monica won. What do you mean no sound, Angus? I think everyone else has sound. Yeah. You just got to turn your sound up on your phone or wherever you're watching. Or your, or your oh, hearing aid. Just kidding, buddy. <laughs> I just seen her on the B side as one of the possible. Who? Renita. We're just trying to get everything that might be up for the next. Is 
Staff knows who's going on. Maybe we should find that out. Hello, Denise. Oh, no. Aren't they you think Erin will win if she wins pile? this rock? She's in tough. Dave was passing about last, I don't know. Can't afford any more mistakes. They might be on top of our bag over there too. The blank profile sheets. Should be on that table right there. I'll have, uh, Paul. Where is Liz from? Well, we can tell you that no problem. We got their player profiles. She is from Seattle, Washington originally. She's living in Portland, Oregon right now. Portland, nice city to live in. Yep. Liz has only been playing for 10 years. Only 10. Since she started at age 21, she's 31 now. Let's see if she can get on that on that six now. This is the tester. There's the player info that they provided us. She's going to try to go forward two rails in behind it. Where is she going here? Playing shape for the bank or the safe. I like it. That was a smart shot. Don't try to do too much. End up hooking yourself. She played it smart. If she gets a good safe out of this stop ball on that six. It's kind of a tricky little safe, actually. She ended up with a bit of a funny angle. See what she comes up with. I think she's just got to roll this, try to stick behind the eight. She nutted the bank. What a shot. Fantastic she had, if shot. If she missed that, she would have left it safe anyway with it. I think if it came back two rails, yeah. She hit that but hard it depends enough, it was if coming back <coughs> over this way. If you hit the horn or something, only yeah. if you miss it wide, right? Yeah. Every time I play that shot, I hit the horn. And I don't get safe. That's going to do it, folks. So our next match will be in 10 minutes. I think we'll reset the stream. Yeah, we'll reset, and we'll be right back to you guys in under 10 minutes. So if you are brand new, first time watching us, make sure you've liked our Facebook page or subscribed on our YouTube page. That'll notify you when we come back live. So like I said, we got about 10, 15 minutes before our next match here. We'll reset the stream here so we're starting fresh. Change up some of our player info, find out who we got coming up next. So we'll see you back in 10 or 15 minutes.